let's take a look at how to clean up audio in Camtasia Studio 8. It's much easier to record good quality audio than it is to record poor quality audio then clean it up later. And I actually have another video on how to record videos without background noise, so do check that out. But sometimes you have no choice but to clean up your audio when you're editing the video. So let's take a look at how to do that in Camtasia Studio 8. So what we're looking at here is a clip I recorded for my latest done for you video course. Now if you don't fancy doing all this yourself, um, I actually make video courses that you can download and you can upload to your own website. So saving you all the effort of making the course and you can edit this content, edit the videos if you choose to. So if you'd like to know more about that, go to totallycourses.com. But moving on, let me show you how I clean up this video clip. Now, this is a less than perfect video clip. In fact, I think I re-recorded this one because I wasn't happy with the sound, but obviously I need to show you a, um, a clip that has some problems, otherwise there's nothing to clean up. So this doesn't represent the quality of my courses. This is an example showing you how to clean up the video. Anyway, the first thing you need to do is that if you have more than one track, you need to lock the other track so that you're not editing the sound on two tracks at the same time. So if you've got a second track, you need to lock that. I don't have one, so it's not really an issue. Let's play the video and so we can see what the problems are with it. Where should you put your content on your website? Well, you could put it... So it's not terrible, but there are things that could be improved there. And the way you edit audio in Camtasia 8 is to go to audio. If that's not there, go to more and you'll find audio on that menu. So let's go to audio. And first up, you may find that your audio is a bit too quiet, so you can increase the volume. So that's just volume up. And we don't want too many peaks above this line because that's going to um, reduce the quality of our audio. So in fact, I'm going to take that down a little bit so I've just got a few little peaks above that line and then I'm going to enable noise removal so that will remove um, won't remove every single bit of noise that we don't want but it does make quite a difference I've found and then we can go in and edit the individual parts of the track itself that we don't like so first up where should you put don't know if you heard that but there was a little kind of um, slurping noise <laughs> Uh, now, probably what I would do is I would just cut the first little bit of the video off there and get rid of it. But if you didn't want to do that, if you needed that little section of video, you could make that silent. So you select the area that you want and then click on silence and it's silent. Where should you put your content on your website? Well. And a lot of the time you can get rid of quite a lot of background noise just by making the quiet parts of your video silent. It won't work for everything because if you're talking with some background noise that you don't want then that's not going to help. But a lot of the distractions I find on a video are things like ums and errs and sniffs and coughs and things like that. And you can quite easily get rid of those in that way. Now up here you've also got enable volume leveling and if you've got different um, so parts of your video are louder and parts are quieter that will even it out I found that that tends to um, reduce the audio quality so I need to be quite careful with that but certainly worth having a go if you want to and then I'm going to show you part of my audio that I don't like listen to this put your content on your website don't know if you heard that but there was quite a loud sort of on that um, P sound input and the best way of avoiding that is to have a pop filter that's a sort of um, ring with some fabric stretched over it in front of your mic and also you can still get that if you're too close to your mic and in that case I had a pop filter but I was a bit too close to the mic best to avoid that when you're recording if you can at all occasionally it'll creep in by accident and we can reduce that although not get rid of it by reducing the volume so you would do that in this way and let me just add that if it's a bit hard to see what you want to change you can zoom in you'll probably need to zoom in quite a lot for doing this kind of thing so that's the uh, per sound let's just check that 
there you go that's the puss sound and I'm going to just take the volume down a little bit let's try that so it's a little of an improvement okay let's try again right let's play that now and see the difference that's made where should you put your content on your website so it's not gone but it's um, improved quite a lot compared to the way it used to be now what that's done is that's put audio points in and you can now move those around manually if you want to so if you've got a sound that you don't want to completely silence you just want to make it uh, much quieter than it was you can move the audio points around just by clicking and dragging with the mouse and I find that's useful if sometimes you have a bit of background noise but to make the video completely silent it just sounds a bit unnatural um, if you drop the volume down really low then it um, blends in better in some situations than going from um, you talking or whatever noise that you've got in the video and then to complete silence and when you select a section of that track there and volume up or volume down that will put audio points in for you like that and you can add audio points yourself manually as well now Camtasia 8 does come with some more advanced audio editing features personally I found that if my audio is um, poor enough that I need to tweak the advanced settings I'm probably better just re-recording it because that's going to give me a better result obviously it depends how practical it is to re-record your video but often if you've taken care to make a good sound recording you've got a microphone you've uh, taken care to remove the background noise when you're recording the video the, um, the features I've shown you are enough to just clean up the little bits of your video that aren't perfect and you don't really need to use the advanced settings but if that's something you'd like to have a go at by all means you know have a go so thanks for watching I hope that's been helpful and I'll see you again in another video very soon